Hello. What's happening guys? It's Ryan from R. Davis Electrical. Welcome back to the channel. So today, got a bit of testing today. Uh, got the boy Casper with me as well. Um, so yeah, testing. We're gonna talk a bit about tools today as well. We haven't done a huge amount of testing since you've been with me, have you? Uh, come into shop, mate. Come on, come on, don't be shy. I uh, haven't done a huge amount of testing. Uh, we've been on a couple of uh, rather large jobs, so uh, I haven't really got around to that part yet. Um, Castle's only with me a few days a week as well, so um, yeah, perfect time to do a little bit of testing today. We've got the house to ourselves, so that's always a result. So yeah, let's uh, jump into it. This video is sponsored by MJ Electrical Training. They are one of the largest and best value suppliers of core electrical and health and safety qualifications in the country. From the 18th edition wiring regs, which are only £222, including VAT, to health and safety exemptions when applying for or renewing GRB gold cards, ECS labourers cards or the green CSCS cards. With five star rated online training courses and the option to take your final exams from your home or workplace, MJ Electrical is a great choice for anyone looking to update or renew their qualifications. Hit that link in the description below for more information. So yes, Casper, we're here, we're about to get started. This property is completely empty, luckily enough. Um, very echoey. Uh, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> yeah, you like that one, you? <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of testing, get Casper doing a little bit of testing as well. Uh, excited about that, mate? Yeah? Can't wait. Can't wait. He's already taken off a socket, and what is it you said to me? Half the door came with it. Half the door did come off with it, but it was like, yeah, it's done really well, um, this socket, and uh, I'll just show you. Don't worry, the power is off. Look, flyer leads, grommets in the back box, he said. I said, do you know why? And why was that, Casper? You did it. I did it. I, I fitted this socket, or well, I put an extra socket in this property about eight years ago. So uh, that's the reason why it's done well. Anyway, <laughs> right, let's have a little look what I've got with me today. Got the laptop. It's so much easier when you bring the laptop in and you're not writing it on a bit of paper and then having to do it later. I have the Vito Pro Pack 7.5. This is the tester bag. Look at that. You don't get a better tester bag on the market than this at all. Got the trusty old fluke, and we've actually got some fluke hand tools. I don't know if many of you have seen these before, but um, don't get a lot of use these, but they are quality. They are really good. They are rebranded Philo's for anyone that knows what Philo is. Really squidgy handles, look. Oh, look at that. Really squidgy, really comfy. They are good quality, but they are pricey. So be warned, do get a full set. I've got some somewhere else they're uh, missing. So you've got pliers, we've got the side cutters, and I've got some long nose. There's a bit of rust there. <gasps> Oh, Casper. You have to sort that out, mate. You have to get the old WD-40 out. All Fluke everything again. Fluke T6-1000. If you're looking for a continuity voltage tester, you get the T5-1000 and the T6-1000. The T6, what I've got, has got this field sense technology. Um, yeah, go for the T5. A lot cheaper. Uh, I've never really used this field sense technology. Uh, bit of a gimmick. So yeah, T5 is a lot better and a lot more reasonably priced. Okay, so this is the consumer unit. Casper's gonna take the board off first, but Casper, before we take the board off, the cover off, what are we doing first, mate? Come, come down. What's the first thing you should do before you take any Fuse will cover off. Uh, triple check everything is off. Well, well, yeah, but you first you want to turn it off. Yeah, go for it. Turn it off. Get that board cover off. 
yeah and then we'll just test just to make sure that everything is dead before we carry on the main gas bonding is right below the consumer unit so I don't have to test that I can visually see that that is good need to find the main water coming in and uh, yeah just have a, always have a good look around first thing you do visual inspection get that out of the way note down any c2 c3s hopefully no c1s I don't want any c1s and while casper's getting that fuse ball off I'll, I'll keep going around if i spot anything uh we'll show you and um yeah wait for casper to get this ball cover off you having trouble there mate nope you sure <laughs> yeah it looks like you are to me so there are things in the cupboard like uh, this uh, which we will rectify while we're here and obviously make sure the metal light fittings are earthed correctly uh, metal switches are earthed other than that it's only a little two bedroom um, bungalow this so it shouldn't be too bad we've got tape on the switch here so we'll investigate that I don't know why we've got wood screws in there either that's strange strange <laughs> It's always a bit worrying. It's always usually like a, a wooden back box usually for something like that, but a property of this age, and it really shouldn't be any sort of wooden back boxes. Boards off, doesn't look too sad to be honest. Looks all right to me. So yeah, we'll do a bit of testing. Make sure this is dead first, won't we? We're gonna get Casper the Friendly Ghost just to <laughs> test the incoming supply just to prove that it is live and the testers are working so go for, go for it mate Sorry. yeah what have we got two four five coming in right now that switch is off so if you test the bottom of that switch now we should have nothing but now you want to go live earth as well so put your live in go up to the earth bar please are we still nothing? nothing? And neutral enough. If you move across the neutral, no, 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 down, down, down. There we go. All possible combinations to test that we're all, yeah. And then if you can just go to the top again, just to prove that that tester is, is definitely working. No, no, go across one. There we go. Yeah, you're just proving that them testers are working, yeah? Yeah. So that is your known supply. It's what you call a known supply. Yeah, so we're proving that them testers are working. And then we're proving that it's dead, and then we're proving that they're working again. Got that? Yep. yep. I don't think he gets it. Okay. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. So with um, it's like L one. Yeah, he gets it. Yeah. He gets it. He just looks at me all confused all the time. It's not really dark, like just blank. Like... He goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you like these uh, flute screwdrivers, mate? My ones. My what ones? You, what ones are I giving you? Uh, the interchangeable. The interchangeable draper ones. Yeah, we'll get them out in a sec and have a look at them interchangeable drapers because they are brand new. They came out the other day. Yeah. So Draper did send out some screwdrivers to me months ago, some cutters and whatnot, and um, they weren't allowed to talk about them. Uh, I think they got released, so you might see this on the Wednesday. So last week, the uh, screwdrivers and cutters were released. Um, so we can actually finally talk about them uh, now. Casper's had them for months and used them and he loves them. Uh, I'm not so keen on them personally, but they're right, they're right, mate. They? Yeah, the interchangeable right. screwdrivers are probably the better. We'll go and get them out now and uh, you can have a little look. So these are the Draper, what are they, TP XP 1000. So I was sent some side cutters. Do you know what? I had the Draper Expert range. I really enjoyed them. These ones, they're very affordable, put it that way, but these screwdrivers are the uh, best thing about the new range, yeah, aren't they, mate? They are, very, oh, they are exactly the same as the last lot. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, Casper loves the little swivel end, don't you, mate? Very good. Yeah, it's got a little swivel top. Let's have a little look, mate. So the top of this, spin so you can hold that in your palm of your hand and nice little swivel there yeah they're quality in they mate yeah 
They are very good, They're very affordable. You obviously get your two handles with them. You get your full set of screwdrivers. And, oh, mate, go to the van for me again. This is Casper's <laughs> main job. Go to the van for me again. I've got the torque screwdriver. I'll drape the torque screwdriver in the front of the van as well. So like I was saying, these are the XP1000 drape screwdrivers interchangeable. And this is the old Draper Expert ones. Yeah, very similar. This is the torque screwdriver, very affordable torque screwdriver, I must add. But yeah, I, I, they're exactly the same. So while Casper's uh, doing some dead testing, he's gonna get some ring cons and whatnot. I'm gonna start inputting everything from this consumer unit onto the laptop because I'd rather do it here than do it at home. I'm sure oh, I'm not the only one that does that. Used to, I always just write on a bit of paper or in a notepad, and then you gotta do it at home. If the place is empty, I'm just gonna bring my laptop in. So much easier, so much less ag. What are you doing here? You get the Stanley knife out. Get the Stanley knife and go round it with the Stanley. Come on, Casper. So this metal light switch in the bedroom, we have no earth. Okay, not a major problem because we can put plastic switches on here, but I do want to check the lights and make sure we have got earths. So yeah, a little bit more of an investigation. We'll get down some of these lights and just make sure that there are, there is earth and earth at these lights. CPC, should I say? People in the comments, not Earth, uh, Earth. CPC, I know. I also got here the, what's this, the MB2 Blackout. Got the old socket tester on there. I've got a socket tester on there as well. I actually got three socket tester holders. But the MB2 bag, I had some foam blow up in the van. Lucky enough, didn't cover this too badly, but this bag holds. This, we've got more, we've got more continuity testers. Yeah, just a bit of a miscellaneous bag, this one. What have I just got in there? Don't know why that's in there. Nipex Tubix. What else do we have in there? We have this. This is a Nipex Christmas gift, I think. Yeah, Nipex sent me this. This is the Christmas gift set. Got a knife and the little 125 Cobras. Keep that in there as well. Yeah, just a bit of a miscellaneous bag this. It's got loads of stuff in here. I'll just chuck it in there. Terrible for that iron. Just doing a little inspection out in the garden, see if they've got any exterior lighting. And I've just seen this beaut. Have a look at this. So we got our floodlight pointing down towards the garage. Hey, look at that, IP rating. Yeah, look, properly IP rated that. Where's the, oh look, look at this. So yeah, that's another item that has to go on the list of remedials. Um, we'll have a little look down the garage. I don't think there's any power in the garage. I don't think there is. Can I get in the garage? Oh, I'm in the garage. Ooh. I think this is all disconnected because there is, yeah, there is a disconnected 10 mil in the back of the consumer unit that does all this. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, at least it's done correctly. You've got a little armoured coming in there. That's going to be fused as well. Yeah, just another big floodlight up here for a bit of lighting. Nice, eh? I've seen a lot worse, that is for sure. Nice upside down socket. I can't work out why they've done that. Why would you put it upside down? You've got knockouts this side. That's a strange one. But yeah, this is where, this is the reason for the disconnected 10 mil in the back of the consumer unit. 
Uh, not, well, I suppose it was probably tripping out at some point. Yeah, extension leads, luckily it is because you've got an extension lead here and then the ends. Nice. Got my boy going around now getting some ZS's of all the sockets. What are we saying, mate? Zero point four one. Okay, just go round all the sockets. I want the highest reading. Yeah. So you don't have to. All you've got to remember is forty one. If forty one's still the highest reading, yeah. Don't worry about the rest of them. Just want to know the highest. Okay. Cool. Another little thing I've got from Velocity is this little pouch. This is like my quote in pouch. So I've got some. What have I got in here? Where are screwdrivers? Interchangeable ones. Can't get it open. Yeah, why is the screwdriver? Oh, it's in here. Oh. I usually keep the tape measure in here. What else have I got? I've got a non-contact non voltage indicator from Klein. Have you seen this before, Casper? I have not. This is clever, this. So, let's turn her on. So we've got our non-contact voltage indicator, which will... Have we got the power on? The power's off, but it doesn't matter. So if you press, oh, let's focus this. I, don't, I can't remember how to work it. All right, ready? See the little laser on the wall there? 1.34 meters away. Oh, it tells you how far things are. Yeah, how cool is that? Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> so that's the reason why I take that in there. Quote. Let's turn this off because I don't the batteries running out. And then you get a little notepad as well. Look. Velocity Pro gear. Nice and smart. Yeah. Look at that. Nice little thing. And then obviously Unilight. RL 925R. Best inspection light on the market. And then the... Uh, RL 5250, 360 degree inspection light. And what is the code, Casper? R Davis 25. And what does that give you? 25% off. Oi! Unilight.com. Oi!.co.uk, boy. Oi.co.uk. So, this is the Draper interchangeable set of screwdrivers I showed you earlier. This is Casper's set. And then this is the normal, probably where I set there, one sort of used to see in. And I'm pretty sure you can use these heads. Yeah, look at that. So that is the Draper heads in the wearer bottom. I don't know if you can use them the other way around. Let's try. Let's give it a go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't work that way. So they don't work wearer to Draper screwdriver. But for some reason they work Draper to wearer. Mm, they're a bit, they do come out a little bit. Let's put them ones in here. Yeah, them ones don't move. That's just wrapping up. Mate, take all the tools to the band through, please. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Right, guys, that is all for today's video. Yep. Remember, like, subscribe, turn the bell on if you haven't already. And yeah, just thanks for all the support. I think 4,000 subscribers are at now. Instagram, TikTok, go and follow me all on there as well. And we will catch you all on the next video. Peace.